Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, Mystic Terror here, aka Mel. I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful day. So this is going to be your May reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising. You can listen to your big three to get the most accurate reading. Also make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to boost my channel. I would appreciate it. And you can get a personal reading from me down below in my Etsy store. So I'm going to first pull a clarifier card for the energy of May. So what you guys can really expect in the month of May. Gemini, the overall energy in the month of May. We have sacred gratitude number 50. Reverent appreciation prayer. Okay, number 50 could be a significant number for some of you. Maybe number 5555, five, 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 which represents change and transformation. Angel number 555. Five, five. Um, or maybe the month of May. <laughs> number 5 is the month of May. So a lot of you, I feel like this month, you're going to be very almost kind of tapping into your spiritual side a lot more. Now, I'm not saying like everyone needs to read tarot cards and stuff to be spiritual. Like it can be meditating more, you know, focusing on your spiritual journey, awakening more, getting more interested into certain spiritual things. But I also feel like you're really focused on gratitude. And this is a month where you will have a lot to be grateful for. So there's a lot going to be happening for you where you're going to be genuinely really grateful for everything that is happening in your life and there's a lot you can be looking forward to um this month where you're going to be like wow this is so amazing i can't believe this is happening right now in my life i'm so grateful for this so that means a lot of wishes are coming true for you gemini's a lot of dreams are coming true a lot of amazing things are happening this month if you're going to be so A lot of amazing things are happening this month because there's a lot you're going to be grateful for and a lot you can look forward to. And in the pre-shuffle, I also pulled the well and the wishbone, which is showing that a wish is being granted for you. Um, family wishes come true and a wish is granted. So there could be something when it comes to family wishes that are coming true for you. So I don't know if maybe you've been wishing to start your own family or there's something else in your family that you've been wishing and hoping for for a while to happen. But overall, in general, there's going to be some sort of wish that's going to be granted for you. And any problems you've been recently facing will also be resolved. And with the three of wands and the pre-shuffle as well, we also have two threes. So maybe three, three, three is significant. Number three, um, the three of wands is also showing me here that a lot of things that you have been waiting on, wishing for and manifesting are coming to fruition again. Another three, three threes, three, three, three is going to be very significant. Number 33, um, master number 33. The third of Mar uh, the third of May was maybe a significant day as well. But regardless, things you've been waiting for are coming in. Your ships are coming in. It's like you no longer have to wait. For some of you, you're gonna be traveling in the month of May or planning some type of travel to go somewhere with the world and the three of wands. You're expanding your horizons, you're learning something new. Um you're releasing heartbreak and pain as well. Three of swords in the past position. You were recently hurt or you went through a lot recently in your past. That has hurt you. This could be a breakup, a separation from someone, um, someone that just really hurt you and disappointed you and, and wasn't who you thought you were. And then the ten of swords in the future position, which is great. You're moving from the three of swords to the ten of swords, which is completion an ending to all this heartbreak and this pain and this trauma that you had to recently face, Gemini. So you're closing out a major chapter and a major cycle in your life that has caused you a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. And you're releasing it and you're letting go of it. And you doing that is bringing in so much more happiness, so much more success, so much more positivity, confidence, you really standing in your power with the Empress and the Queen of Cups, you feeling good about yourself and your body and looking good and feeling good and you releasing all that pain. Like you've learned a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons. 
Let's see what else. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So we have two tens here as well. I love that. Because tens are completion, fulfillment, cycles ending, and new cycles beginning. And with the Ten of Cups, there could be also a strong love relationship coming your way, a strong connection coming your way um, with someone that you just share a really strong connection with if you're already in a relationship. We're going to pull some love cards to see maybe what that exactly is about. Past life relationships. So, so whoever you're dealing with or will be dealing with in the month of May, you share a past life relationship with this person. The two of you have met, your souls have met in many, many lifetimes. Okay, many, many lifetimes. So when you meet this person, it's going to maybe instantly feel like you have known them all your life or have you ever had that experience where you meet someone and you're like, why do I feel like I've known this person? I got cut off. <laughs> But you share a strong past life connection with this person, okay? And you're going to instantly notice and also express your love. So someone might be expressing their love and their feelings and their emotions to you this month. Someone's going to take a step towards you, take a risk, want to say how they feel. I mean, with the Ten of Cups, we have a lot of love. And this is coming in for you after so much heartbreak and pain and suffering and trauma from past relationships that you're finally meeting someone that is going to give you this Ten of Cups. And it's going to make you happy and it's going to make you fulfilled and that's going to make you smile and feel good. So this is a really nice energy for you, Geminis. I feel like you're really, there's a lot you can look forward to because you're closing out such a major chapter and something amazing and new is coming into your life. I mean, you're finally releasing and letting go. You've learned your lessons. You're going to be on the right path. The universe, your spirit guides are showing you the way, are showing you the path with the candle here as well. You will be shown the way. Trust the process. Trust that you are on the right path. Always listen to your intuition. See, heartache over what you no longer have. Some of you are still pining or hurting again over something here from the past or someone from the past, something that you no longer have, or someone that you no longer have that really hurt you, that really brought you a lot of pain and suffering. Some of you in the month of May are still healing from this and still needing to heal from this, but do know that you are healing and healing is a process. Like some people take years to heal and get over certain things and some people take months and, or weeks or whatever, but everyone has a different healing process and try not to compare yourself with anyone else but some of you this month are still maybe you know needing to heal from this heartbreak needing to get over this pain and, and trauma hammock taking a vacation like i said some of you could be going on a trip it also it also doesn't have to be a long trip it could just be like a weekend trip a day trip but you're taking a vacation physically or mentally and i feel like whatever vacation this is or trip this is it's going to Bring in a lot of mental clarity, physical clarity, you feeling much more clear in your mind as well. Okay. Oh my God. I, didn't I just say a few minutes ago, you were on the right path and now I pulled the arrow. You were on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. There you go, Gemini. That was your confirmation. You are on the right path. Trust the process here. Okay. And trust the universe that is also putting you on this correct path because i just feel like some of you are sometimes doubting yourself or doubting something or if you're on the right path and a lot of you are still just healing someone really hurt you gemini's a lot of you this is the first zodiac sign that has experienced a lot of pain recently i don't know what happened gemini's but you really need to, you're really healing from this. And, and there's a lot of sorrow and a lot of sadness that you're feeling right now at this time or have been feeling for a few weeks or for a few months. For everyone, it's a little different. But this is a month where you're really getting over this and you're finally able to let it go. This sorrow, this pain, this heavy weight that's like been on your shoulders that you've been struggling to let go. You're finally like releasing it and when you do, it's going to feel like this big weight is also lifted off your shoulders. Okay, Gemini. So it's really nice and I'm happy for you. Okay. If you made it this far, comment down below your Zodiac sign emoji. I'd love to know, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And you can book a reading from me down below. Bye. <music>